So the Associate Attorney General's Office has a very broad portfolio. I think what most people think of uh, with that job is it, it, it oversees the civil litigating parts of the Department of Justice, so defending the United States when people uh, sue the United States or, or any federal officer, suing people who may have committed fraud against the government. I also oversee the Civil Rights Division, the Environment Division, Tax Division, and then also the Antitrust Division. We have the Office of Justice Programs, which uh, gives grant funds to state and local authorities, police departments, courts, sheriffs, counties, uh, you name it, uh, to help them improve local law enforcement. The community-oriented policing service, the COPS office, which uh, helps train police officers, but is, is best known, at least this year, for giving away a billion dollars to put more police officers on the street to protect the public. And then last, the, the Office on Violence Against Women, which uh, is focused on ending domestic violence, which is something that is personally of a great deal of importance to me. In all of the missions, I, th I think of the role as protecting the public. And that includes trying to bring money back into the federal treasury uh, when it's been uh, stolen or defrauded in some fashion. I'm honored to stand here today with dedicated colleagues from within the Department of Justice as well as beyond it to announce a historic settlement. We announced uh, the largest healthcare fraud settlement in history. $2.3 billion recovered to the federal treasury. Now today's settlement is an example of the department's ongoing and intensive efforts to protect the public fisc and recover funds for the federal treasury from those who seek to profit from fraud. We need to be effective in communicating to people what we're doing, in particular the kinds of scams that we are seeing, uh, the kind of fraud that we are seeing. It's critically important for us to get the message out that if you engage in this kind of conduct, if you commit fraud, you're going to be caught uh, and the pen penalties will be severe. I think central to trying to every day do, uh, do our jobs better, I think, is, is the idea of partnership. Uh, I think we know that uh, the federal government is just one of many law enforcers across the country, m one of many uh, groups trying to protect the public and, and uh, put people behind bars who are breaking the law. We need to really focus on working with our state and local partners and tribal partners because only together, uh, working together as seamlessly as we can, are we going to be effective. At the same time, we need to partner more effectively across the federal government. I often try to emphasize to people that uh, education is part of public safety. If you keep kids in school, you can keep them out of trouble. Well, the Department of Justice, you definitely can say, is, is in my blood. This is my sixth tour. I started as a, an 18-year-old kid doing a database programming a long time ago, and I have found in every single stint what I like most about the department is that I wake up every day uh, saying to myself, my job is to do the right thing. Just do the right thing every day and do what I can to protect the public. It is nice to have such a straightforward mission and I see that in virtually everyone who works here that they, uh, they come to that with uh, the idea that their job is to do the right thing today. They don't worry about politics, they don't worry about any of the other stuff. Uh, they know they're just trying to do what they can for the public.